What in the hell? <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Dreamcraft Minecraft Survival here. Um, I'm an idiot, so I want you to know that right off the bat before I start explaining this. What you're going to see in this episode, we already did a whole video on, and while I was uploading it, I deleted it like a moron. <laughs> so, I have to show you what we've done, and I'm going to do my best to make sure it's pretty much like the original video, but the, uh, the build that we have in this world is uh, already completed, but I did do a video of making it, and like an idiot... I deleted the whole video after I got done editing it. Like, I could have deleted it beforehand before I did all the work of editing. Nope, did it right at the end. But anyway, guys, all right. So, you can see my chests are gone. Let's put our armor on. I would really not like to die and, like, double down on the stupid today. <laughs> my chests are gone. The reason for that is... Is we explored this cave right or this mountain right here that we're on. There was no cave system. Even this looked like it was gonna be a cave and it ends right there. And it just goes to the end of the mountain. So we and me and Wix went around the map. Um, we have a creative copy so we can kind of plan out stuff and see stuff. And we found a really awesome, awesome, awesome cave system. Um, and so we are going to build over there. I actually moved all my stuff. We did even like a little moving montage. And so let's go over. I built this nether portal. And this will take us into the world very safely here. Um, into the nether. And the reason for that is we didn't want to die with all our stuff on it. And... This is going to be an eventually our nether hub. I've connected all the portals in the nether. So it's going to be safe. There's not, we're not going to get attacked while we're in here. And we have some cool ideas for this world. Uh, but like I said, this is eventually going to be a nether hub. It's going to be fancy in here. But right now, it's going to be very eh. Um, this is just for function right now. And you can go ahead and see it. We got Supa and Wix Maple Cave. That's not the name. I mean, it is the name, but it's we're going to think of a better name. But let's go over here, guys. And this is our new area. Um, so right off the bat, really want to show you guys something. The most important thing in the whole world. Hopefully you guys can hear that good. Um, this is our new area, and I love this new disc. I got this new disc. Uh, uh, Karina on the server gave it to me. She's uh, play, She was play building over by us. She got it, and I really like it. I played yesterday when I was building this. We'll get into that here in a second. Um, I played for about eight hours, and this was all eight hours i just stayed in there putting it back in every time i did so this is our new area guys all right that you get listen i'm talking song um you need to be quiet down for a minute now anyway <laughs> this is our new area guys i did part of this was i just set this up this is temporarily i have a few goals for this new area um just so we can go through them quick. One, when I get done with an area, like we're not done here, obviously we're going to need to add stuff here and whatnot. We're not going to have torches everywhere. I want to do hidden lighting, especially now that lighting is easier to do. And then uh, another goal is I want to do something every episode that progresses us permanently. So obviously this is not going to be where our enchanting table is permanently, uh, you know, but this is going to help us get up and down out of the world. And we're going to talk about this today. Um, also, I think what we're going to do to really help this out is I'm going to go into the creative world so we can see this new area that we're going to be building in. 
All right, so I we made a creative copy of the world so that I can fly around. This is not our survival. And what I'm going to do you is kind of show you this cave, but we're going to use some night vision to help us see here a little bit. And let's go down in. So this is our cave system. Let's go over to this side to start off with. This over here is a cool little flat area. Whoop. Right over here, let's get, we don't need the shield. Let's get, um, can I, where's my inventory inventory? No, nope, not it. Um, anyway, we'll worry about that in a second. Anyhow, guys, this is one section of the cave. We're going to be getting into this section very early on, and I can't wait to do that. Um, I have some really cool ideas for this. But my our plan, if you haven't figured it out, is to make an underground city. Um, as you can see over here, this really gets bigger. Also, too, I really like this biome that we're at because you can see this really bright green glass. We did talk about it in the episode that I deleted, but I'm a sucker for that bright green glass. So... Um, here, let me see. Can we get this? Yeah, I want to get this shield off. There's no reason to have this shield. There we go. All right. Now, as we go down here, we're going to have to make some sort of dealio here. Probably another one of them cool elevators that we have up there. We'll get into the elevator a little bit later. But as you can see, we have this whole, there's a massive cave system. It goes that way way down that way um, and you know there's a bunch of ways it goes down so as you can see here as we're getting deeper we're getting deeper down in you can see we have even more cave systems down here this is really cool down here and like you said it even goes deeper than this and i just want to make an underground city slash base and wix will be doing this with us so if you see over here, we got even more area here. And we'll be changing it up, obviously, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go up here. You can see these cave systems over here are going to be quite fun. Um, and there's a lot of variation between them, too. We got a ravine in the middle here. That is really cool. Just like that, kind of with little bridges across. We have so much we can do in here so now we got a little glowberry area but as you can see over here this is gonna be a really cool area we have some plans already in mind for this area here but there is just a ton of room down here and like i said this series is not so we used to do a thing when we got a new update we do a new world we are no longer doing that. This is going to be, um, let's see, go up here. i got to remember the cave here. Um, but this is going to be our permanent world. And we're just going to, you know, go out farther when we need the new stuff or we're trying to get some of the new stuff. Um, but this is going to be our permanent world here. And you can see we got moved over and everything here. Now I want to show you this thing. Um, and being a creative, this is really going to be cool. So let's drop that on the ground. Let's get, um, I want to show you the mechanics of this. So let's get that in our hot bar. Um, let's get, let me get my hot bar ready and I'll be right back. Okay, now before when I did this with you guys on camera, I did it as we built this. So I'm going to do my best to explain exactly how we will work it and then i'll show you how this works when we're done here um but anyway guys the this is a pretty basic system if you're not familiar with redstone i would not worry about it because i'm going to show you how this is working anyway you guys know that a cart you can put on minecraft rails this pot is a powered rail so this will push a cart so if you see here let's go to this side um, like so, and we'll push it, you'll see that it gets pushed. Alright, so, we're using that mechanic just to go up. That's that part of that mechanic. Also, if you guys didn't know, we'll place this right here. 
Um, the cactus, if something hits it, a lot of times if it's like a cart or a boat, it'll break it. So we're using that mechanic as well. And we're using hoppers. So hoppers, as you can see, that item was over there. All hoppers do is pick stuff up from above and then move it in an order. So you can see they're all pointed this way, so they're all pointing into this dispenser here. Oh, and that needs to be a dropper, not a dispenser. So we're going to have to fix this. And just like that, boom. We'll put that there. And we'll get into the dropper here in a minute. But this part is essentially how it works. That whole deal. And what we're doing here is dispensers will actually place a minecart for you if you give them a redstone signal. So as you see here, boom, it puts it out for us. Pretty simple. And like before, we'll get into it. It'll push us to the cactus. We don't get hurt, but it does bring it down all the way down into here. Right? So there's nothing in there right now. Put one out. Let's get in it. Let's go down here, and you can see it'll go in there just like that. All right, so pretty simple right now. Now, one thing we're going to be doing on this, so basically this is the bottom. Let's go over there. As you can see here, boom, it places the cart, right? Just pretty straightforward and simple. Boom, places the cart. All right, then this power rail takes it up. And when it gets up to the top, this, I have this up at the top to break it so we can go up there and look at it. Um, right here, and the hopper takes it down just into here, and it, will, and it takes it right to that dropper. All right, so the next mechanic here, oh, is it you know? Yeah, it is. We're going to have to sleep real quick. Let's sleep. And like I said, I did this video and explained it. Um, but I want to make sure I try to do my best to explain it again, even though I'm an idiot and deleted that video. And so we come over here, right? And now we have to get this to drop down. So on this one, we come over here. And you can see I have a dropper right here. And so when we go up, the cart will come all the way back down. Let's go up here. And you can see it broke. And it sent it back down. So we're going to send um, a cart down right now so you can see it. It'll go through the water. And then the hopper picks it up right there, and it'll reload it into there. So we don't ever have to touch the carts. They just reload themselves. Now with that dropper down there, I'm going to show you how we get the carts back down over here. And this is the, the mechanics. This is a dropper. Um, when you power it, it will pop an item out. It won't place it like a dispenser will. It will just pop it out. And so here we go over here. Now, as you can see, like before, you, hopper, chain will bring the carts over here. And what we're going to use is a comparator. Now, if you don't know what a comparator is, it will tell you if the block it is pointed to has anything in it. So you see it has no power right now. There you go. Now it's powered. And now it's not. Let's get a torch over here to light this up a little bit better. Alright, now the issue is it only sends a small signal when there's something in there. So you can see it only sends a little signal out. This isn't powered right here. And a good example to know if something's powered, let's go to redstone. Let's do a lamp and you will see um, that it is not powered. So, but it is powered here, so it is too strong. So that signal is, we need that signal, signal to get stronger. And how you extend signal is a repeater, just like that. 
So now you can see it makes it to the repeater and that will send it out quite a far ways here. As you can see, it'll be 15 blocks. That isn't really important to what we're doing. We just want to send a strong signal when this reads an inventory. So we don't need this piece that we had here, so we can remove that. And there we go. So it's just all of this is, it looks complicated unless you know the mechanics like what we're doing now. This is just reading if there's an inventory and this is going to send a signal. Now we want the signal to come back out and tell this, oop, and tell this, we'll do it this way for right now, and tell this to send out. Um, so we'll actually do a block here just temporarily. Let's do a stone block. And you see it shoots it out because we're powering this block with the repeater. All right, so as you can see, now when an item comes, it'll shoot it out. It just reads it, sends it a signal. Now, if you had, oop, let's get out here. Um, and now, that is how we do it because now down at the bottom, there's a hopper on that system. And that hopper just goes ahead and puts it in back in that dispenser right there. But that is the basics of it, and you can see, um, not too complicated when you break it down into that form. So let's go ahead and try this again. Now that you know the mechanics, we go up, and we are going to, there we go, and it breaks on the cactus, it sends it down, and you can see there it went right there. So this thing is really cool, by the way, if you do recognize this, Slipgator back, built this way back in the day, um, and I really wanted one in the world, and it turns out that it's really good at going up and down, um, and it's a lot of fun. So that is what we built. So let's go back to our survival world, guys. All right, we're back. So originally, the reason I wanted this to be here is because I had a ladder here, and you can kind of see where it was. It was like right along that row right here, and it was super slow. <laughs> and if you weren't paying attention, you could fall down into here. And we got to do something with the ceiling, maybe like a sky dome or something. But guys, I hopefully um, you guys like the new area, and you like the new deal. And I can't wait because Wix will be over here too. And she's a really good builder. I like to do redstone and she likes to build. So this is going to hopefully be a really awesome cave. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time folks. <laughs>